morning and welcome to session 999 of your Aperture Science and Richmond Center Automated Testing Confinement. Sandwich you should Central. be feeling rested and refreshed after your forced hibernation period. As you rested, our patented and using toxins have slowly worn away at your brain's recently connected neurons, making any fears or anxieties you might have from the horror and or agony of what you have previously experienced melt away into a viscous fluid which now resides in your upper spinal cord. Pardon on the interruption. You probably don't remember much due to the brain chemicals. But a certain test subject managed to trigger a self-destruct sequence and destroy a large section of the facility. There's no need to worry. Testing will resume. Let's get back to the tedious informational nonsense. The remaining bodily fluids should be captured and immediately sent for analysis. Please pick up the handheld portal device to proceed. Oh, I have a portal device with only one side for portal. So this part is called Good. Sara. You appear to have a basic understanding of how portals can move you through space. Please continue to the next area. To your left you will see a subcritical mass energy pellet. Please use your handheld portal device to direct the energy pellet into the high concentration electron dispersal unit. It's basically, uh, the energy produced by this pellet extractor will be sent to a worthy cause. A high energy pellet to the next chamber. Receiver Remember, you have approximately 43 hours to complete these tests before the symptoms of dehydration start to kick in. Good luck. Oh yeah, so we got 43 hours to beat this map, but I can just like delay it for what we want. Like we will, we will finish this game. Oh. Almost get cracked. Please place a weighted storage cube into the 1500 megawatt hydromagnetic cube stability unit. This will allow you to change the path of the energy pellet. Oh good. The oh god. Man, what the fuck is happening to? They told me to quick save. Note that any energy pellet will be destroyed if it comes in contact with the wrong side of a hydromagnetic cube stability. required for these tests, and you will not lose points based on how many millions of dollars worth of weighted storage cube technology you destroy. Oh, that's, yeah. uh, that's okay. I saw they got where out warehouse full of oh, shit. Please do not approach the 1600 megawatt positron energy orb. The positron radiation can cause brain hemorrhages, retinal boiling, internal microwave syndrome, minor lung explosions, and eventually death. Uh, it's actually death.
If you experience any of the symptoms mentioned previously, then good news, you probably won't need to worry about dehydration. I think I need to worry about this deal. Oh, just give me some water. That is not that hard. Do you remember these? Due to all those brain chemicals we pumped into your, um, brain, you will probably have a difficult time recollecting what makes the green energy pellets special. Like the green energy pellets are different in that they have a half-life of 3.25428 million years. In other words, their lifetime is longer than yours by 3.25427 million years, or until you remove pressure from the... Thanks for the insightful facts, Wikipedia. I was going to let her figure it out on her own. This is a fun fact. Please continue to the chamber exit. This test chamber are basically easy and the others are hard this as hell. This chamber hell. will test what you have learned so far. Remember, green energy pellets will last indefinitely without outside intervention. See? Why I say this? This is hard. Bounced from 
I got to photo this thing is like a hell easy stuff. Deflecting the energy pellet all the wrong has been noted and will be used to analyze your potential as a human. Oh crap. Wrong, wrong spot, it says tell me to fling the wrong spot in India. Can you even do this puzzle right? That's not good, you know. It's rude. Try to avoid directing the energy pellet into the incorrect size. Oh, uh, he said that is incorrect. I'll see this is correct. The hydromagnetic cube stability unit reacts poorly. So where should I put this? Like what? Right, right here. The hydromagnetic cube stability. Like, come on. The hydromagnetic cube stability unit reacts poorly to misdirected energy pellets. Please note the projected path below the cube stability unit. I never know what the hell is this guy talking about and like barely I, I know about it but I need to redirect this freaking obvious thing. Back to the portal. So I can do something to it. Good. And the final step. Children. Most tests subjects peak at around 14 years of age, but you're still able to do it after several more years of brain deterioration and joint decay. Okay, that's fine. Come on, it's just not like this. this. 
person is a child, like six or seven years old. This isn't a completely normal test run. The point of these tests is to restore power to the power sections of the facility. You should keep in mind, however, that you are simply helping the only more massive failure. Also, this is uh, as far as I go in my last uh, playthrough. This test chamber, if completed, will restore power to the to science pediatric wing. Those poor children, well, probably adults by now, and probably not still alive, are patiently awaiting their automated rubella inoculations. As far as I go. now so this is a new stuff for me what the hell is this I won't die please direct the energy pellet through the aperture science radiated flux rectangle frosted what experience a mild tingling sensation while passing through the radiated flux rectangle. It's probably just your imagination. Or possibly the radiation. I don't like rectangle. I like square. episode because uh, it's about to near its conclusion I think that is uh, test chamber number seven there and we need a fling and I, I don't want to do this now 
so hope you guys like this episode if you like it hit that like button down below or subscribe if you're new to my channel and i'll see you guys next time bye bye